Hey everybody, this is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World Electronics. I am going to make a large solar powered uh, lithium pouch battery charging station. That was a mouthful. So I've got 10 of these little charging circuits. I've got a mess of these solar cells, solar panels which have USB outputs, which I'm going to solder directly to here. And then from here, I'm going to go to some leads and come out with alligator clamps. And I'm probably going to drill holes through the board and zip tie the alligator clamps down so that they can never short together and fry my little charger or bring the leads together on my packs. So, let's proceed. Okay, I'm experimenting for now. I've got here a solar panel soldered to a little charge controller with two alligator leads. Now, to prevent any um, danger of explosion, I'll probably put a uh, block in between those and then I'm going to glue the solar panel to the board glue down the charger, glue the wires in place, and fasten them, probably zip tie them to the board, and put a block in between so I can never short them together. That way I won't blow my little charger or a battery. Taking out all the screws from these. I don't need any hardware to ever come loose. And I'm going to solder all the alligator clamps to the wires firmly. I may end up putting heat shrink tubing on the ends of those clamps in the future as well. In the very near future I should say. Um, for extra security and safety. But I'm also going to have um, blocking in between so there's no way. They're going to be tied to the board locked down so that there's no way anything can ever short. I'm very cautious around lithium batteries and packs. So now I'm going to prep the wires I've got my hot soldering iron, which is too hot for my fine work, but it's great for this stuff. I'm going to solder all the wires on to the alligator clamps, and then switch to my cooler iron for the fine work on those little circuit boards. These clamps take a lot of heat, but I absolutely want it done right. So solder it will be. put them on later. Now I give these a little bend and then I can sort of push them up and out just like that. And this is my favorite tool in the world, a helping hands. Got to make sure every solder joint is good. Now this is a more tedious process. I 
because not only do I have to solder them, but I have to make sure that the clips are in, they're standing in the right position. There we go. And I always check my solder joint, so I'm going to hit that other one a little bit. I didn't fill the hole. It's a through hole uh, connection. It's plated through, so I, uh, there we go. Now that's good. I always try to make sure I get them good and double check again. Well, that looks cool. Now I've got to get the solar panels on them. First easy part. Get the USB port off the solar panel. Should be easy anyway. Hopefully without burning myself. Okay. I think I bumped the camera, eh? I'm using my monster soldering iron because it's just quicker and better and smoother. Less time on the circuit board is better for the board. Anyway, there's a big wire on that. Well, there are my 10 circuits and solar panels. Now I'm going to glue them onto the boards. I'm hot, and hot gluing these in place now. Try to hold that centered. Well, there's a solar charging station so far. I've got everything spaced out, glued down. Looking good so far. I screwed a piece of 2 by 3 in. It gives me a bit of uh, some strength and solidity. Um, I don't want that flexing on me when I move it around and then the solar panel's popping out of place or breaking. So well, I've cut a bunch of pieces of wood and I've got two on I'm gonna run a strip down the bottom and I'm putting uh, wood separators here so that each pouch can sit in here and be charged without touching or sliding over to another pouch These are so sensitive, the sun is out, and they got current. Um, some of these, right here's one. I'm not sure why some of them don't, but uh, absolutely some are, are showing current. I think these are good solar panels. 
I can't wait to get this done and get it out in the sun. The dividers are on. Now I'm going to put the bottom board on to stop anything from falling down. I'm going to try to get this on nice and tight, tight as I can. As I glue it, try to get it up tight to each board. Well, there's the board so far. I've got a pouch in there for an example. And I still want to put dividers in here and secure these down. So all I do is press here and feed the wires in. I put screws in underneath here to make this more rigid from the from the bottom side up so that the uh, the board doesn't pop off and this doesn't flex so much. So I went and cut some of these pieces. Now what I'm going to do is position them where I want them roughly and I'm going to drill through hopefully less violently than that and I want to put my I'm going to put zip ties on here and then I'm going to hot glue it all together Now I taped all that so I can lift this later but it's going to be awkward with the uh, box in place. So I'll probably have to move the other box. I was just setting them there to see how they look. Get an idea where they're going. And then I'll zip tie this on. And the wires will be held firmly. And they can't escape and give me trouble. They cannot short. They absolutely cannot short out ever. That is what I'm talking about. I got some batteries in. They're charging. This shows blue, which is when it's finished, but of course this is not finished, so I'm going to hook this up and hopefully it'll show red charging, but i got to set the camera down. I'm in the greenhouse. <laughs> it's the best place because it's intermittently sunny and snowy. Put it on. Battery turns red, or the light turns red. It's charging happily. I've got, it's great because now I can put uh, 18650s. I can put flat packs. Actually, I'm going to fasten these up here later. I just wanted to get some batteries out here quick for a demonstration. Nope, this one must not be connected. It's showing blue. It's either charged or it's not connected. This one seems defective. You're always going to get one defective uh, thing in, a, in an order. At least one. All right, I'm going to connect these all up. See, that one's blue. Some of them show, they get confused when there's no uh, no load. All right, now they're all hooked up, except for the dead one. And everybody's showing that they're charging. All good. Now I have a free solar-powered charging station. Oh, you can't get greener than that, can't you? Or can you? So uh, now, the reason I did this, I've got, oh, four or five hundred of these cells now that I need to charge up and I can't be running them all in my house we only have a 700 square foot house oh this one is starting to get charged it was blinking so this allows me to put them out side and uh, charge them outdoors with the free power of the Sun and it also frees up my power supplies 
for other things, more batteries, for example. The next project I'm going to do, or one of the next projects, I'm going to build a desktop charging station to use with my power supplies. So I'm very pleased with the results. Uh, it's too bad it's just not sunny today, but we are getting some charge. Now, generally, in a day, these are uh, 5 volt, 3 watt solar panels. So that's 600 milliamps. In uh, a day, half a day, we should get a fully charged battery per, uh, well, 600 milliamps should take, what, four hours for an average battery. So average charging time. I use, I usually use like um, 500 milliamps or less, and these are going to be 600 peak. So I think it works out perfect. Well, there you go, guys. Please like this video, leave a comment below, subscribe if you haven't, and I've got some more cool projects on the way. Here is a total, absolutely off-grid DIY solar lithium-ion battery charging station. Pretty cool. Tell me what you think.